Gateway to America. Ellis Island, or the Island of Tears, is located in New York Harbor, just off the New Jersey coast and north of Liberty Island. It used to be a place where the government decided if immigrants, the people who wanted to permanently move from their birth country to the U.S., would be allowed into the country. Between 1892 and 1954, over 12 million immigrants entered the United States through here, and 40% of all Americans have at least one ancestor whose first stop in the country was Ellis Island. Immigrants from foreign countries arriving in New York Harbor would stop at Ellis Island to pass through immigration before entering the U.S. The government let wealthy first- and second-class passengers into the country after only a brief check on board the ship they originally arrived in. The poor third-class passengers, though, were moved from the pier by ferry to Ellis Island, where doctors and government officials gave them a thorough medical and legal check. They needed to make sure they were who they said they were and that they were healthy. The anxious newcomers entered the main building through the baggage room, left their luggage there, and went into the crowded Great Hall. The first test was the six-second medical exam. Doctors looked at the immigrants for obvious medical problems and disabilities. They put chalk marks on the clothes of the people they thought had something wrong with them and sent them for a full medical check. These checks weren't required for everyone until 1917. If someone had a problem that doctors could heal, they were sent to the island's hospital. If not, the steamship company they came with would have to pay to send them back. The next step was an interview with a legal officer. Immigrants had to have proof of where they came from and where they expected to live and work. After 1921, people had to pass a reading and writing test and show a passport and visa. When there were no problems, the whole process could take as little as three to five hours. However, some people would stay on the island longer if they had legal problems or if they had to wait for a family member that was in the hospital. The next step was going to the money exchange area, where people could exchange their money for U.S. dollars and buy train tickets. At the exit from Ellis Island, so many family reunions took place that staff gave it the nickname The Kissing Post. After that, the new Americans were free to start their exciting new lives.